All right, well, we go into the game. It looks like it. Yeah, the boys are ready to go. We're rolling on in. Here we go with Haven. Now, when you look at Alliance versus Diffuse, starting on the attacking side is going to be Alliance, and it's a typical C crunch. Oh, going out there with the blast packs, and Looker's able to take the, not even the trade, kind of falls afterwards. And for Taka, Suck in the back of the site, Frenzy in hand, easily able to drop Looker, but he's got a little bit more to deal with. Players down on long, very low HP on the Killjoy, so that's going to be tough for Hype to take, and he fights! Up close, though, Kriya gone he snuck up i don't know how he got past the sova with logan finding a dog catch them off guard you never know i've seen it work less times than uh <laughs> then it uh fails but you know what we'll give him we'll give him the benefit of the doubt he's rushed into garage and actually made it to the sea site so he might actually catch them off guard here tag oh no Six HP left. Oh, so close so close pre nav that would have been enough absolutely if it was a classical yeah, i really like how um how well the lurker mode is activated here by alliance that c garage seems like a weak point a weak point for diffuse but they are doing work on the retakes so it's three versus two but time is running out yeah korea it's a key kill but he doesn't check for the second player coming out takas is only in the 1v2 though so he can win this he needs to hit the first shots down to 18 hp spotted and knows the last players on long at least that drone gonna spot that he's not defusing it buying a little bit more time that look again you know that he's not defusing it because he's just mm. being pinged i think the important thing is though like when you look at a round like that to open up versus sheriffs rolling thunder gives them time to react and what they it slows the rate of fire but they have sheriffs so they want that they one shot just kill himself? he did he just ended his own life with a nade that is not the way i expected this one to go in fact didn't think the fight was going to come in just yet but Roden, well he just uh he initiated it himself on himself 4v3 lockdown comes into effect but there's the counter lockdown could come through no shock darts onto it but it's the hunter's fury instead to just destroy it and negate it completely ah it's going to hit a teammate but at least uh the idea was to reveal someone else but hold on diffuse have come in they found kill after kill the last player known to be on long now coming through short though it's not going to tag them up shock dart goes in it's not last They've got a passive A hold. Akuma's in heaven, so he can't even drop out once they smoke him off. His hope was that they wouldn't smoke it, so he could maybe... Oh my oh god, my what? Looker, support player, apparently. Yeah, exactly, his name. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, wow, they've just shut them down. Absolutely wrecked them. The fastest retake we've seen, and it's perfectly timed as well, because Hype just used his lockdown, so they managed to take that ultimate out of play as well because we've caught them off guard really, really, or it was the Rolling Thunder, excuse me, but really, really well handled um, from Diffuse. It cost him an ultimate, but hey, you'll take it to secure that round. Logan, wow. he just got a double. This guy's insane. Now, Alliance left in a 2v4. I mean, Diffuse have got this. They've got the spike on lockdown. There's no ultimates to really do anything to, to stop this. And although two kills come in for Firoth, Hype's got it all to do. Smoked off. Is he going to push through that? It looks like it. He hears the reload left side. The TP up above. He's got the spike. He no one they, they didn't realize. What? They didn't notice he took the spike from right under their noses. And now he's out of there. Dropping down an alarm bot. Moving towards the spawn. Because he knows those guys are probably still in here somewhere. They were maybe wrapping around into spawn. Like, in Hype's mind, they are not in garage. Because if they were in garage, they would have killed him on his way out. Or at least shot at him. So now he's thinking that they were pushing behind him. They are pushing through spawn. He has no idea. Like, they have, they have played him without realizing they're left. playing him. Which is funny because... They could also play themselves. Oh! They could have also played themselves because they see he's one tapping. I love it. Spike this is the second time he actually gets a first blood with the sheriff on a Nico round. He's he's really important to the execution to the normal by flashing and using his ability. No, oh, he doesn't know there's another player come behind. I thought that timing was gonna completely destroy him, but hold on. He gets the fault line out, he's being peaked. Looker. Oh, it was Hype that took him down. Firo just seems well. Yeah. Let's take a look at Hoppy, because he's been punished a couple of times playing around this site, but not this time. There's going to be the Rolling Thunder that catches him. Looker pushes forward, and there's the kill before the Shadow Steps initiated. But on the back site, there's already Roden in position. He gets a flash out for him. Doesn't get anything with it. Shock darts in play, and Roden wants to swing. He wants to take that kill, and the spray is there for him to do so. That is going to be a worthwhile trade, considering the fact that the lockdown was in effect, but it actually gets destroyed. A four versus three emerging, a line 
Lions still with the disadvantage to play with, but they have taken over the A site. Again, it's one of these double whammies. They push the C site, they make a lot of presence, they get kills, and then they just rotate over and take the site they now know is open. It's a 4v3 retake, so something that defuses right now pretty much used to but they changed to a 4v2 i really like how they both peaked double dose after making noise to go in the, uh, while going to uh, to the window on the uh, mid This 2v4 is going to be tough. Look at that aftershock. So well placed. The fuse are thinking about everything on the way back in, leaving Firoth again in this 1vx. This time, there's four opponents already one dealt with, but it's just not going to happen. And at the halftime, now we close out 8 to 4. A phenomenal defensive side for the fuse now in the books. And Alliance going to be struggling to get back into this. Uh, makes Alliance already focus their, 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 their team composition on the side as well. Interesting. Now they're being. Now executing on scene. The Rodan's got it though on the Kriegon. That's a very valuable kill. Looker goes out, but the flash doesn't blind. Kata in with a double, but he's stuck on backside. Swung on, gets three before going down, and 16 HP on Logan. This is insane. I mean, for Diffuse, the they run into a stack. They still get on the site. They get their spike planted. Everything's going their way, but here's the flank that's been worked on for whoops, quite a while. Only one kill though for Fear Off Frenzy. Not so good on that range. Hype swaps over to the classic. He's up close. That paranoia catches him completely. Hoppy! Hoppy whiffs, and Hype takes the kill the round then eight to five oh my God. you know what that's deserved <laughs> considering the whip <laughs> hey we'll let your lockdown go to completion but we'll get a kill instead and now man advantage for the retake plus damage under the sova i really like that play oh does he know about the aftershock he was actually killed before even that happening what is this korea remaining he's got the spike on his back apparently it's a blast pack on his face oh my i've never seen somebody get stuck with a blast pack before <laughs> That, that would actually limit his vision, right? And this is it, you know, mixing in these op plays. It's like it's like a good dish, right? You got to get all the main ingredients that you're used to. You normally put in a little bit of spice, a little bit of cayenne pepper. Throws people off guard. Looker in with a double down to the classic. He's 2 HP, still going for it. Why not? He wanted to make the play, get the, the flashy highlight reel. Try to aftershock it, but they don't go high. The flash catches him, but he's now able to see everything. There's the rolling thunder, which actually harms him. But Korea, headshot after headshot. He got three and so the damage is done to the final or the, to two of the final players they survived just about that little bit of a tickle on range with uh and spike planted. the full retake is still ready they have it already Fjord actually gets one one versus two but he killed the player that was being very low on hp that is interesting approach to defending the site yeah, it's, it's so passive, but in a way, it's, it's worked out perfectly because they've actually managed... Oh, Kata! So he taps it so they think maybe his ult was already gone or maybe it, it had faded away. Obviously, you can see it's not up the top, but really just playing for the rolling thunder afterwards. It's going to hit. Kata has to hit a headshot, and it's yeah. not going to happen. Fantastic round for Diffuse, considering how they push forward. So many ults in play. Look at the, the placement. This time's a little bit Locker different again. for the Aftershock, but it, it doesn't quite matter because you've got Locker tapping through Smoke's Kriegon with the AK in hand with a Vandal, excuse me, gets up behind them. Cat is in with a double and a 4v1 all of a sudden. It seems like the fuse. It's really chaotic right now. That is a little they bit of magic. They for free. On A. But they find odd. Well, maybe not. Oh, wow. Kata with the clean shot on, on short. He's got a nade as well. He wanted to throw it down towards long. It's just not worth the risk at that point, right? You swing out. You've already got the advantages. Now, though, you swing because Looker's gone down and both players fall. A little bit... A little, a little bit, bit risky, off. considering there was still a nade in play. You can deny that plant. You've got the lockdown as well as we're seeing. Now, the lockdown's going to come into effect at this point. Five seconds left, and they're going to go for this push. There's still a player playing underneath heaven, but he's going to use his ultimate and then cancel. The problem is that they're waiting for him. So he's actually just going to commit to the ultimate? Maybe not. He canceled it, and they didn't hear it. They didn't notice, and Hoppy's able to get the triple. That was fantastic. They know he's not on the spike right now, but look at this position. Takas, he sneaks all the way up behind that is beautiful positioning and that's the round done and dusted surely even with 26 hp the time is so low this would have to be a nuts shot it would have to be a hoppy 
An unlucky situation. Well, not necessarily unlucky. A lot of mistakes made, but punished is the important part by Diffuse. They were ready for it. Oh, that's unfortunate, but hold on. The Rolling Thunder gives fear off the second. Looker comes in to save the day, and it's looking like we might get an OT out of this. A four versus two. Spike down. Fear off upgraded now to a Vandal and Kriakon. <laughs> He runs at him with a stinger. I like the play. I like the confidence, but maybe a little too much. It's a 1v2. Mistake after mistake. The previous round thrown away by these over-aggressive peaks. And here's another potentially. Logan pops the lockdown. Where's the spike? It's it's well, he, deep in the corner, right? Deep in the corner of A lobby. He needs to get there. And he has the chance. He knows that someone will be exactly standing and long. But now the lockdown is already out of place. Wait, but Elias is actually rotating. They know he's still there. They're taking control of the map this way, right? That's a spike. No, Kata is now backing away as well towards A. Oh, this this is chaotic. Ten seconds. So chaotic. Left. Ten seconds left. He needs to plan either B or A. They're prepared for A, but he's planning on B. He does he have this? Does he have this? He has just about just about enough time. 0 0.0x seconds left. Logan in the 1v2 with seven bullets. If he reloads, he gives away his position. These have to be clean and clinical headshots. The defuse is underway and the peak is there with a double. We are going to go to OT, ladies and gentlemen. This game is just going to keep last one. That's for sure. Both of these teams, they love the attack and they love the W key. Akuma taking down Kriya gone straight away. Kriya, well, he's certainly gone. As the drone comes up, it's going to check its close right. It's... Yeah, it definitely saw that Firoth is there. Kata peeking in. This is a disaster for Alliance as Akuma takes all three kills in opening up short. Looker, what just happened? He got flashed and somehow he's a double kill. That makes absolutely no sense. He gets peeked on the left side, leaving it on the hype to clutch this out in a 1v2. His HP is low. Hunter's Fury's coming for him and he should be dead to it. Whoa, he's dodging it just about. I feel like I'm in a game of dodgeball. They think he's in heaven now and the swing, he spots the Player, but he's been spotted his position given away the fault line there it's not going to catch him but the timing on that peak is not quite good enough two players ready for it and another road already got control looker drops himself an aftershock looks to grab the kill if they drop out but he's got support here it's the important thing the reload is hurt looker spotted and he goes out for a korea with the trade and backs off to site they don't have a smoke up just yet but he does have paranoia and that's the key thing if you hear a player starting to step down there paranoia is going to come in and you'll have a kill as quick as you like. Instead, it goes in towards the spawn, and this could be it. Kriagon spots the barrel. Ro oh, no. Takis is able to grab a double. This is insane. Back and forth. It's like a game of tennis. And we're on deuce right now. There's the kill for IP. It's legged, but he's away. 13 to 13. The defuse halfway, and the swing from Hype perfectly timed, catching him. But... Shock darts coming over. Akuma's just going to tank it. He just stares at it. Yeah, I don't care about your shock darts, dude. I need a spike he, he plant. Knew, he knew the second one who will not hit him in time, so he will get some damage, but he will get the spike down, and that's the most important aspect of it. That flash so good. Roden caught up close. Hype able to take two before he goes down and Firot's in with more. This is looking bad for Diffuse. A one versus three. No ults in play. And Logan, he's done it before. He's made these clutch plays happen. Down goes the turret. They haven't got a lot of time to play with here. And Logan's just trying to burn that clock all the way down. The spike gets tapped. The drone spots him. Halfway done now. Tapping away. Logan, how did it take so long? But he's... It's going to explode. There's no time. Logan's won it. The 1v3 goes his way. Another round that comes out of absolutely nowhere to, to, to secure. But look, Alliance, they're pushed into the A site. We've seen this passive play before, but the flank is underway. There goes the alarm bot, giving away the fact that Hype is up close. The nade does so much damage, takes him down. Looker in with a kill, but traded out straight away. And a 3v3 now emerges. They've spotted Kata up close. They've tagged up Kriagon. This is looking so good for Diffuse. They want to take short control. Kriagon has to worry about Heaven, the smoke serves him perfectly to actually fade out to the site, but Heaven is where the play is going to come in from. He wants to peek out to long the timing. Looks to be God tier. Firoth! Oh, no! The position given away at just the wrong time. Firoth's able to take the kill, and the 1v1 now. It's dangerous! The spike out! It's going... It's being defused as far as he knows, but the shock dart close where defuse went. But now they're in a 5v5 retake. Yeah, I'm really surprised that Firoth didn't actually get control of the site to delay the, the plan. They were giving away giving away the entire A side. Now it's a 5v5 retake. Still, most of the utility untouched, at least for Breach, which is the locker, and he's the MVP of the match. He needs to put work right now. That's the first flash. No execute yet. 
If you're still holding the angles, Akas ready with his counter flashes. He oh. gets it. So good, but the kills don't go their way. Defuse, they've been robbed on that one. Looker, 11 HP as he closes in on the smoke, but gives the info to his teammates. Takis, so good in these situations at finding multi kills. And now, Kata, no time left. They've got double volleys on the spike just to be sure. And guess what? If you thought overtime one was two. Recon drone, that's going to be huge. Hype in trouble. He pushes forward, but even with the blind, they're able to see him. The spots are there. That's unfortunate with the timing of that. Putting it down into a five versus four now for Alliance. Holding on tight is going to be tough. Kriagon at least gets a kill. Here's the recon drone to spot one. They can spam afterwards and get the kill easily with the boom bot in play. Rushing down the planter. And this could be it, Lothar. A 3v1. Guess who it is? It's Logan again. It's going to be a clutch. <laughs> it's gonna, you think it's going to be a clutch? I don't think my heart can take much more of this. He's stuck down on short. He knows where two players are now, but there's a double stack in heaven waiting. Oh! Oh, Logan! He's just in, an initiator, right? It's, it's, I'm a little bit worried about this. Yeah, it's like we, uh, Alliance have taken the flashes of Diffuse because they've got two agents who can pop those flashes, right although Reyna, you know, say what you will about it. To start this one off, though, we're going to see Diffuse looking to move in towards the B side. Great mollies, double mollies out. Really well predicted on Korea's position. Akuma in quickly with the frenzy. And on this, you're looking at what should be dominant. But hold on, Kata, he's actually managed to get out of there as well, dismissing over towards the stairs. And Kata with a triple, showing what the Reina can do. No more orbs, though. So no healing up. And frenzy as well. Over 30 meters. Yeah, oh, no, what a timing <laughs> for the knife. Mm. It'd be relatively easy. One weapon to be retrieved. I, I didn't actually spot. Is it a bulldog they got? No, it's a spectre. I see no, a spectre. spectre. Oh. Good night. Oh. Sweet dreams. A little bit of a slip up for Hoppy. Oh, Roden. Oh, Roden. He's in trouble, but he manages to shut down the alley push right into Kata's Sheriff. A two versus two, Logan just about winning that and leaving it down to just one. Firoth, Shock Dart in play, comes out, bouncing towards the back side, does some damage. There's the kill. Oh my God. For Alliance, it's a tough decision on where you go on this one. Fuse, they're not going to get pushed on. They put the smoke down just to confirm that it's going to be a more passive play. Dash out oh, the peak. It's good for Hoppy, at least, because he's able to take one down. Although Firoth grabs himself a single with the, um, excuse me, with the Odin. It, oh, that's a haircut. Sage doesn't have a ponytail anymore. Spike planted. Fortunately, the ponytail has no hitbox. <laughs> Which makes sense, you know. I think you shouldn't be no able to feel the that. from the hair. <laughs> Imagine your hair has nerves. Oh my. This is huge though. What they they think Takis is here? Takis had he had he did everything right. He pushed away, avoided the recon dart. Oh Logan, stop it, man! This guy's insane! Okay, they win. They win the round, but like, I, Logan wins flashiest play of the game so far. How's he? Are his bullets magnetized? What's happening? And so that plan wasn't like a complete fail, but they got some kills. Looker, a little bit late on this flash. If it comes through, there we go. Because he was just baiting for Kata. Looker grabs himself a double, clean as can be. And you might think this one was an eco, but no, it is a full buy. I guarantee you of that. Taken out of his drone there by the shock dart. Does little to console defuse. Two versus five. They're watching their back. They know they were watching their back. They've pushed out now and they've taken the front instead. A double kill. This is massive. The fuse wanting to go in for the market control, checking their back as well. But Kata, or Kree, excuse me, catches that kill. Akuma waiting for the peak to come out. A little over aggressive, but Kree gets it done. That was really the rolling thunder smokes down to try and block vision and they successfully do so so now you've got a nice play with the knives up close on site catching one off guard down goes fear down goes kata but looker's trying to pull it all the way back he's got himself a double he's going to be side swiped but then logan takes the kill anyways of course he does the spike plant's going to go down and defuse end up in a three versus two this is huge on such a low buy for them but roden he wasn't expecting the peak the timing goes awry kriya able to take down one and the smoke's going to go in but they have to evacuate the the area there's a killjoy ult coming into play and they just run into spawn covering each other as they move it activates and now they're ready to catch him as he crosses oh. lined up firing squad for five and giving away his positioning so it was a little bit off timing you know but there was just no bad decision making just a weak luck for him but now freedom is developing on mid Oh, Roden, what is that shot on the looker? Dashes away to safety, picks up the spike. 
This is a good start for Diffuse. I mean, not a good start, but a good recovery afterwards. Takus does some damage, pops a wall, pops a res. Here we go. Right back up into a three versus two. The game is afoot. Firoth tucked in the corner. Might just catch one off. Go home! Firoth, no! He's, luckily, there's a silencer on that weapon, so nobody heard the shots. <laughs> that was a bit of a whiff. And his teammates had to rotate through spawn because the wall was up, leaving him all by himself. And one me wondering, question, why did he push up short with the spike in his yeah, hand? Yeah, exactly what I wanted to say. He had to wait for his teammates, and he was pushing alone with the spike, which ultimately now gives away the position of his teammates as well. Oh, it's such a tough task for Logan again. Again, That's he has 1v2. to clutch it. 1v2. He has left. to prove his worth. He's done it again and again. He was rezzed for a reason. Brought back from the dead. Let's see if it'll pay off. What a shot. That was a flick over to Hype as well. He doesn't know where Firoth is, but he suspects it. He's cautious of it. The peak and the shot by Logan. A main control completely going towards Alliance. Defuse. They're happy enough. They'll concede it because they're just getting to rotate through middle again. Wall up, break the door and rush into sight. Looker, he's caught out. He's Oh no, that's blind and fear off. But Looker comes in and still grabs himself the double Kriagon. TPs to backside. Actually just spotted it out for them and then cancels. What? Through the smoke. Fear off just taps one down and a 3v2. Now perfectly winnable. Kriya canceling that ult so he can play with his teammates on this retake. But it just got a whole lot easier. Like about to be planted. Well, here's lockdown. And they have no way to go. How, how does he deal with this? He's gonna... Okay, there's the counter. There's the ultimate from Omen. He's gonna cancel it now, but he's back gonna side? be backside. Anyone? No, he actually didn't. He there just timed it. Okay. Oh, you have to see Hype can still hold his side from just that one angle. They don't get anything from it, and they're... Oh, my oh, wow. God. Yeah, that, that's on Akuma, because Hoppy's trying to bait him out so Akuma can take the kill, but uh, it, it's fair to say it didn't work. They thought maybe the lockdown would push them all the way back as well. It's another possibility, but no, because there's a position in heaven and down below that you're safe in. Very odd round. But still, Diffuse, they managed to make it over to the B site, despite what is a little bit of a misplay. It serves as the fake that they wanted it to, although they would have happily had a few kills alongside it. Now we come into this retake, and for Diffuse, it's all about catching their opponents off guard. They're watching the flank, but that close corner is already cleared. All they have to worry about now is sight and where Roden is, and he's getting one, two, three! Roden in with the play of the game! Kata manages to trade back, but up on top of the wall, you can't predict Takas to be there, and look at the sneaky position by the Killjoy. Logan now spotted, but the man is a machine, and all he's got to do is win a 1v1 with no time, and Firoth on no HP. The round is over and done with it's one out by diffuse and by an absolutely insane position by your looker popping flashes well it can only get you so far you're going to run out eventually there goes the fault line no presumably oh and he's not going to try back off alone they're going to come in and fight with him and off the back of that three kills and a very quick and clean start to the round logan coming out and this guy he spray transfers and still gets it although he didn't kill the first now caught in a corner rushing on through the nano and a pre-fire from fearoth to close it out a right, close one. Help for this. The flashes were not helpful. He was just being stuck there. Hilarious around. Oh, wow. And that's a nice start. The shot hit just after the Hunter's Fury connected. Logan rushes up short and grabs himself a trade on Hoppy. Now things are looking pretty good. If he can manage to get that Vandal even better. Oh, he's actually picked up an operator, didn't he? Yep, that's he massive for Logan, but he's stuck in a corner. This is the only problem. The flash comes through, and now he's... Oh, look behind you. Logan catches him completely off guard. Gets on to Kata as well, and it's all up to Firoth retaking right into Roden. Out of the positioning so you can cross it with the three players from there. The doors are being destroyed. Two people committing to a short. Good flash on the fuse. Hoppy is just dead in the water. Oh, Looker's getting tagged up and distracted while a sideswipe comes in from Logan. They're left into a two versus one, but it's Takis and low HP on the planter. No cover, but Firoth closes it out. The frenzy round. I mean, the pistol round, excuse me. Well, some players, but yeah, no, it's, it's not too common. Not too common at all. This is going to be a, a fairly fast run, actually, towards the A site. Or Odin, he's able to grab himself one and dash on out of there, looking for more. Well handled by Loden. Or Roden. Who's Loden? But well, he's reloading. That's a combination of Logan and Roden's. Un unstoppable. <laughs> the deadly duo. But look, 
the man advantage sits their way. They have to drop out of heaven. That's the danger, right? They're looking at a stinger up close. There's one, and they're dismissed right afterwards. Looking for a little bit more and getting it kind of... He's already in there for the double. His teammate just needs to hide because out he comes. Hey, if at first you don't succeed, try, try, try again. Well, three players in the same position. And Absolutely phenomenal on attack, but also so useful on the defense. I mean, this is huge. Roden looking for a little bit more. He's only got one knife, though. That's the shame. Dropped down below. <laughs> Look how it gets blinded. It was a nice uh, nice attempt to just make sure you secured it, right? And that was it. Roden, he gets one kill. He could have gotten so much more, but the shot missed is a, a real godsend for Alliance. Now left into this position. Kriagon doesn't really want to take that fight, right? You're pushing through short, close range. It's where these pistols thrive. Logan! Come on, man! He's going out for more and three headshots! Knife out to try and deal with Kriagon because his ammo was a gone. But it's a 1v2, all thanks to Logan. Two or three kills, it seems to just be the, the standard. Now going in towards the site, Kriegon wants to get that spike planted. They could rush him down at any left. moment. Luckily, the door is closed for that extra bit of security, but as he swings out, he sees the pistols. Here comes the paranoia. It's massive. One kill. Looking for the second. He knows exactly where the player is and well handled by Kriegon. He got... No, for Takas, holding up close. He's going to pop a slow through. And this is really nice. The swing, the timing. Everything works out so well for Takas. The slow left. Kata just stuck in the back. Rodin's just sniping away with a nice little 3k. Short. A really cool setup with the wall. But now a quick execute on the market. Logan with one kill. Only one. That's a, it's a, <laughs> it's a rare thing to point out. Logan has one kill. <laughs> yeah, no, it, in this position, for Alliance, you're trying to get back uh, into these positions to catch your opponents off guard when they push, but it looks like the opposite might happen. Firoth in towards main is going to be the key player on this one. The timing, oh, it's worked out terribly. Yeah, Hoppy peeks in at just the right moment to catch him looking in towards the site. Now Kat is trying to close in the position, and I think... No, he's tucked in the corner, and he's still going to catch him off guard. Dismisses out of there, makes it into main. Here comes the res. Kata wants to challenge that. He wants to fight it, and he takes down Roden. There goes Sage, and it's all up to Logan again, but the time... The time is going to be the big thing. He's got two players to fight against, two ults as well, and they just double peek. They have one more best of three uh, immediately as a, the final game of two weeks. Quick execute from Alliance. Nothing new. Nihil Novi. Just a quick plant in the first 10 seconds. And Kriegan with the nasty wall bank, but he doesn't get the second one. Takas gets him on A Heaven. There's a lockdown from Logan. There's another lockdown for the counter play. And Aftershock, the ultimate galore right now oh. happening. But it's Kata. It's Kata with the double, keeping them alive, even despite Firoth going down. The man advantages are there. The lockdown comes into effect. It pushes the players back and even catches Logan. He's going to be out of the play for a while now. Trade is there, and Logan is battling against the clock and two players as he rushes back into the site. He needs to take the fights quickly. In comes the turret. No idea where these final two players are, and the fight won by Kata.